When I came in, I was shocked. I was just amazed at some of the equipment and the resources that they had here. As an incoming student, I realized that this is some place I really wanted to be. This is a seven-story, 50,000-square-foot tinkerer's playground. I would describe Sears Thinkbox as a creative space. The largest open access makerspace at any university in the world. But I spent like 100 hours here my freshman year, second semester. I just think it's really cool. It's all of the expensive machines we can come in and use for free. We're open for everyone. At the other university, they had pretty similar equipment, but it just sits behind locked doors. Here at the Sears Thinkbox, you're going to get access to the top of the line 3D printer. You have real milling machines, you have metalworking and woodworking equipment. Water jet cutting, you can cut through steel, granite, you name it. We have a welder now, so that's opened the door to a lot of things. Even if you don't know how to use them, there's someone that can teach you. To build robots and rockets. The most important thing is to learn how to fix the errors and then what are the engineering challenges. We built a pediatric pulse oximeter for use in developing nations. We built a hypodermic needle incinerator for healthcare centers in rural Uganda. I think Box has been like probably the reason for a Perry Hug. A Perry Hug makes internet connected teddy bears that let you hug your loved ones from anywhere in the world. We're building a rapid blood testing system that returns results with a single drop of blood from your finger. We are developing a device that automatically detects vision disorders in children. Even if you're not interested in a startup, Google, GE, Boeing, mid-sized companies, it doesn't matter. They all tell us they want students with an entrepreneurial mindset. I had an interview, they asked me, what projects have you worked on and what have you learned from those projects? So for example, in my resume, I write proficient in laser cutting, 3D printing. Students come here for all kinds of projects, from academic to research to personal pursuits. We are designing and building our Baja car to compete in our international competition. When we started integrating ourselves with Thinkbox, we've had the best season we've ever had in the history of Case Western Reserve. This shirt that I'm wearing, I manufactured in Thinkbox. I was able to make these earrings. We have people from the Cleveland Institute of Art coming here all the time. Oh, students at the Institute of Art love working here. I'll get a call or an email saying, hey, we have a student in the engineering school and they need design support. We have a resource here called LaunchNet. They help you hone your business pitch, find investors, and turn your idea into a real company. LaunchNet took us out to CES in Las Vegas. And they also supported us through funding and just having the ability to network and talk to people who've done it before is priceless. And we work with the law school, IP Venture Clinic, to help you get a patent. The legal aspects like LLC versus incorporation, taxes. He comes to me all the time with ideas and I'm always like, well, we're here, let's just print the thing. The possibility to build just about anything you want. It's an incredible resource. It's just a dreamland of innovation. If you want to make things or get help starting your business, you are going to be right at home.